What's up everybody and welcome back to my hardcore little surprise surprise if you couldn't tell already no longer vanilla texture pack no more vanilla uh, shadows and uh, all of that junk well uh, quick rundown I'm using the chroma hills texture pack uh, the 128 one with uh, shaders enabled I do have the non shaders here I had to pick up this one for shaders and uh, I'm the shaders I'm using are the Rudo Plays one. Uh, I tried the um, the uh, the Sonic Ether ones or whatever. Uh, I didn't really like them. This one's a little bit more vibrant. Um, you know, shout out to to Sam Lingus for for showing me uh, all of this stuff and walking me through. I, it's a texture pack that's really growing on me, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna probably record one or two episodes with it just to uh, you know really give it a good test run. But um, I'm really enjoying it. There is, a, you know, a pretty big performance hit um, with the uh, with the texture pack with shaders and and the big texture pack uh, involved. But thankfully, um, I'm in a situation where my computer can handle it, and I can still record and uh, still get 60 frames a second with uh, VSync on. So, uh, anyways, a couple of things that I want to show you guys. If you couldn't tell from um, my little railway here. Well, well, you probably couldn't from this angle. We uh, we have a railway that leads uh, to the mob farm. Whoop, I, I sort of passed over that. That's fine. We'll just power through it. There we go. A little boost right there. Uh, it is daytime, and I don't know what it is with shaders, but daytime is incredibly bright. Like, their grass and stuff is just super bright. The desert's even worse. It's just terrible being on over there. Um, my last sword broke. By the way, we have a new sword right here called Space Jam, and uh, I enchanted a couple of books over here. I'm gonna put Sharpness three and Knockback two on it to replace my old old uh, old sword. Then we got a new uh, pick two, Get Up and Jam. Uh, I was hoping to just get efficiency and I'm breaking on it, but it gave me fortune too because uh, I have that um, Silk Touch book that I was gonna put on there. But uh, we lucked out and got fortune too, which is all right. Um. I don't know if I talked about uh, my helmet either, uh, my replacement helmet since it broke a while back. It's called the clouds because uh, I was always told by my teachers that uh, my head was always in the clouds. So you know what? I gave myself a helmet called the clouds. Still haven't made a whole lot of progress in this place. Um, and it's still working like poop uh, even after our torch adventure. But bam, look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on over here? Well, we have uh, a new system. I'll take the cart here in a second. I just kind of, uh, I'll pop over on this side. It's easier to get back up. Uh, we have a new railway system that's actually done up a little bit more right. Uh, it looks a lot nicer. It's uh, it's built out and um, it's not just a, a solid single file block that goes across because, well, that's just ugly in itself. So what I did, oh, skeleton just died over there. Uh, I spent a lot of time and a lot of cobblestone, smelting a lot of cobblestone to make all this stone and stuff up here. Um, to uh, to make this train station, or this railroad here, that goes all the way out into the swamps. Man, this just looks awesome. Okay, so I, uh, <laughs> it's weird, right after I said this looks awesome, I crashed. Um, so I think it might have been Minecraft running out of memory. memory. Uh, I'm paused right now because I was kind of letting the world out here load. And I wanted to take a quick, um, quick just gander at what's going on here. Uh, it seems to be all right. Uh, yeah, smooth lighting, render distance as far like it normally is. Uh, we're on fancy. Okay, well, um, I can only assume that it's because I'm recording and I was loading a bunch of chunks at the same time as the shaders and textures and just a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, oh, look at that. My whole hotbar here is not loaded up either. Let's uh let's try a quick relog. Uh, save to quit. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of severe errors in my console here. Oh, a GL error. Let's um let's go back and maybe turn off uh, Open GL. There we go. Maybe uh maybe that'll help. One could only hope. Yeah. Well, now my hotbar is still all disappeared. What about if we switch the texture pack? There we go. Okay, hotbar is back. Uh, shaders don't look as good on vanilla, but still, all right. So, this right here is that skeleton spawner that I was talking to you guys about, and how I wanted uh, 
to make a farm for it. So uh, I have this little bar thing here. It's not so I can attack them because you can't actually reach them through there. It's just so I could see what's in there because sometimes armored ones come down and uh, don't die. So this is a fall uh, thing. As you can see, they're already spawning. Go over here in the corner to show you guys. Um, the shaders are kind of kind of annoying when they're uh, just on vanilla, huh? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But uh, same system. I got two double chests to store all the stuff, and it just hangs out over here. Um, or it just hangs. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It works great. It works fantastic. This is about maybe two or three hours of AFKing here. And uh, it is just phenomenal. So I'm actually going to take a good amount of these arrows back to us, or with us rather, to the base. And you can see it's just working phenomenally. So I'll just take a couple of bones too. Put those there. There you go. All right. And uh, we got a little bit of gear. We got power two on that bow, which is uh, which is all right. I'm okay with that. Infinity is very nice. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of let that hang out and do what it has to do. But uh, that's the only thing that's over here. That's the only thing you take this train station to. And uh, the very annoying trek back upwards, which is probably gonna make a lot of you dizzy. Uh, so you could just close your eyes. You know, that's that's what I do. I sort of just focus on one thing, like my hot bar or something simple like that. So we're on our way back. Uh, hopefully not with another crash in mind. And it's much brighter on this texture pack than it was on the other texture pack, and the waves don't look nearly as good. Um, definitely gotta switch back over. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure when, because, well, I don't know, maybe the texture pack just needed to be refreshed. So let's get off of the track here, and put this guy back. This is this actually doesn't work fully, because he stops always, like, right here. He being the minecart. So I always have to push him over into the corner, but that's no big deal. And uh, this is probably about six hours of waiting. It's, uh, it's still very inefficient, and a lot of this actually is me just dumping stuff. Like if I had bones on me, like these five bones, I would just dump them in there. And um, so that's that's definitely not what I want. Uh, this is not as good as the uh, the single spawners would that just keep on going. Um, anyways, let's, let's try to go back to Chroma Hills. And hope, uh, just hope for the best. Okay, cool, I got my whole hot bar now. Um, the only thing that with the Chroma Hills is that it's not actually fully complete. So you'll see the books aren't um, done, the potato isn't done, um, even the baked potato isn't. But you know, most of the uh, most of the stuff is is done. Uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for this side. Let's zoom on back uh, over to the train station real quick. And we went down the uh, the other side of the track here. To the zombie farm, which now has its own enchanting table. I used a lot of my leather to make more books and stuff. I, I currently have no extra leather. Um, I probably got a couple of grown cows, but not very much. Um, but yeah, this place got a small little facelift. It's just like a little alcove here, so where um, I have you know 500 zombies or something like that. That's gonna give me over 30 levels. Uh, I can um, come here and just immediately put it into a book or something like that but uh actually since we're here why don't we put on sharpness and knock back on space jam here so we have a sword so there we go space jam is all ready to roll we got sharpness and knockback. sharpness three which is uh, it's all right um but still I'm, I'm happy with it it's good anyways that's the only thing i wanted to show you over here let's go back home and then we'll talk about what this episode is going to be about Funny thing is, is that uh, I know I said that we're going to go back home and talk about what it, the episode's going to be about, but you guys already know. Uh, it'll be the title of the video. So we're going to be making an auto smelter, like the one that you uh, you all saw in um, my Beastcraft video that Sam uh, helped me with. So again, you know, shout out to Sam. His his channel will be down below. You guys should check him out. Funny dude. Uh, bones going here? Yeah, bones going here. There we go. We got a good amount of bones and everything like that. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to the um, the uh, the icons and stuff like that. I also have a lovely idea for what I'm going to be using. Uh, all that uh, that spare iron that I have. Smooth stone, yeah, yeah. Smooth stone doesn't look too smooth in this texture pack. It's kind of crumbly, but um, I will say that. 
uh, higher texture packs like this 128 texture pack, since they can put more detail and stuff into it. And look at that, there's like locks to poke out. Oh, they do that in vanilla too, don't they? Um, I have, I feel like the world is bigger. Like, uh, I'm not as big as I thought I was. You know, the world just seems like there's a lot more depth to it. Like, when I come down here, especially just, like, right here to my front door, this little area, I don't know why it always kind of strikes me. as like, man, this is this is uh, a lot bigger than uh, I previously imagined. That and the, this texture pack completely destroys nether brick. I don't know what was going through the guy's mind. It was like, you know what? It's a nice dark maroon color. Let's just make it fucking pink. That way it just doesn't follow the, the code at all of what it's supposed to look like, you know? So, I don't know. Uh, I've never seen, actually, well, I didn't see the, the bottom side of a, an enchanting table, but that's that's kind of neat. It's like old school obsidian uh, with the new school obsidian up top. You could see the level of detail difference on there between the two. Uh, anyways, uh, it's nighttime. Not really going to matter. Let's put this book up here. And uh, what else do I need to put up here? Anything? Now we gotta get up and jam. I don't really need him right now. I was hoping that he would be a replacement for Pick of Destiny, but he wasn't. We still got pickles. I didn't name my diamond axe. Didn't feel like I had to, but then I got like all these enchantments on it. And uh, we'll put these potatoes in there, and we'll go downstairs. Uh, it should be fairly obvious where I'm going to be putting it. I can't put it this way because uh, we have a hallway here, you know, so we can't put it over there. Going to be putting it right here because we got a uh, two by two area here and uh, this is already underground. The only thing that we're going to hit is probably the hill uh, on the other side. So I'm going to clear this out and try to study the screenshots that I took of the auto smelter on, um, on the Beast Crest server and try to do this all in one take. No promises, but I'm going to try. All right, so uh, we have our tracks here, and um, I'm more than likely, well, actually, whoa, you need to slow down. Seeing your pick of destiny. We, uh, we should probably take it up another two, like up there. That way, um, hmm gonna need a way out so if we have chest here and here should be yep there we go um, we'll have the chest or the cards come up here that way they're their um, eyesight when they uh, when they come up so we need to uh, get on up there and this will be I have a bunch of furnaces I should probably put out those first yeah uh, there they are, 11. See, I made a, bu a bunch of extra ones, you know? So, uh, not not for s this specifically, um, but, you know, even then. So I think, looking at my uh, my screenshots here, so, so bear with me, I'm sorry. Uh, it's kind of hard to take screenshots in, in such a, a small area. So we have to have, this will be the top. Um, of the furnaces. So we need to have a furnace here, here. It's not going to be a very big one. It's just going to go that far. So what was that? Uh, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. That's good. And then um, our track will go down this guy here. And uh, the hopper should drop them all in there. Hopefully it could be that close. I'm not 100% sure. And then um, the difficult part that Sam and I had when we were doing this the first time was trying to get this rail to stay straight and do what it was supposed to. Oh, we need, uh, we need hoppers here. So, okay, I got one hopper, which means I need to make more. Uh, we have one chest. What do we have an abundance of? I guess these oak wood planks that I have on me. So I need eight. Made nine. That's fine. Let's go upstairs, pick up our iron. Upstairs. Pick up some iron. That's dirt. There's our chest. And put that like that. 
All right, uh, we're gonna need a lot more hoppers than that, actually. How much more iron ingots do I have? I got a couple. We'll, uh, we'll play it by ear, because I don't want to overproduce uh, right now. Mainly because I'm, I'm not necessarily low on wood. I just, you know, would rather collect more. So uh, these guys have to um, put coal into the back sides of the furnace, I believe. So let's get another couple of torches up here. Brighten this up. Okay, so let's grab our hoppers. And you can see hoppers are not done here. And I are they done here? Yeah, they are. No, 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 no. They have to be down one level. They have to be here. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe these are supposed to be on furnaces as well. I think that's actually what it is. Okay, let's try this one more time. Sort of playing it by ear, I know, I'm sorry. But uh, it's important to me to try to figure this out. So let's put these guys back. I think this is how it goes. Let's get on this side. And then back here, you put in furnaces like that. Or not furnaces, hoppers. So we do need uh, more hoppers. That's fine. But then we do like that all the way down. We should be good on that aspect. So we need more wood. Let's just uh, we'll grab this, make a bunch. Seven. One iron short. Okay, that'll uh, that'll do for now. Oh no, 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 no. That's right. They need to be in the back of the furnaces. Perfect. Okay, and then we bring these over, and hopefully, let's just uh, we'll take this out just in case we do that. We take out that track and then we got two perpendicular. See, if we didn't do that, I'm stuck inside the hopper. If we didn't do that, these, these ones would try to connect and they can't, so they would just go sideways. So uh, that's why we do that. And uh, that's also why we did it up here, is so they don't try to connect. Now, uh, the biggest problem for us when we were working on this is that we would accidentally break that track and then, well, all heck would uh, would break loose. I know I'm next to my redstone chest, but I'm just gonna make two of these, you know, just to uh, just to make two of them. And uh, we'll put one there. And uh, can I put one here? I don't know if that's turned on or not. Okay, these these arrows right here on the on the others. Uh, oh shoot! You just put that in the furnace, didn't you? Yes, you did. This uh, that's another thing. There, this furnace interface is just way too busy. Um, I mean, I know it makes sense. The coal goes in the fire, and then you know whatever's up on top. But I keep getting yeah confused by this, and uh, it's just it. I don't know. Small small gripes and all honesty. Okay, so these are powered. That's good. Um, actually, could I power both of these by just putting that there? I sure can. And uh, that hopper picked up my torch again. I think it was this one. Yep. All right. So we got powered tracks, which is good. I th oh, these don't have to be detector rails. Oh, shoot. I think these have to be detector rails. So let's, uh, let's try that. I think they have to be detector rails. Let me, um, let me take a quick break. Make a little cut here, and I'm going to go take a quick look again uh, at the Beastcraft. All right, so they were detector rails. We need two detector rails there because that's what activates um, the rails. I'm going to leave these two here to complete the um, the ramp, but we need to make um, some detector rails, which 
I don't know. I think we get six, like most rails. So let's uh, let's see. We got our iron here, and then a stick. No? Oh wait, no, a pressure plate. My bad. So we need a. Uh, wait, do I got pressure plates? I got wood ones. I don't. I think they have to be stone. Oh wait, I'm gonna need four. You only get one. There we go. Oh shoot! Well, I only needed one. My bad. A little scatterbrained right now because I'm trying to uh, trying to be smart for you guys for once. Yes, it's a, it's a rare occurrence, but sometimes it happens. Okay, let's uh, let's hope for the best. All right, and all right. See, it kind of went sideways a little bit there. So uh, we need to get rid of this. Do little taps, little taps, and then we get them back. Okay, that's good. And um, yes, that, that's fine. That's fine. We need a couple of comparators. Do I have any? I got a couple of repeaters. I do need those. I'm gonna put these. Uh, actually, let's uh, put that in its respective. Mother. Oh man, I had detector rails. Ah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Put these extra sticks away, just because I got too many sticks on me. And put that away because we got a stack in case we need to make more chests, which I'm pretty sure we will, because we're gonna have to build um, more hoppers to take stuff to droppers. Um, for the chest that's gonna go eventually here. Should I put it there? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's not break what uh isn't broken. So we're gonna put our chest there, which means I should probably dress these blocks up. I'll do that here right now. Actually, we'll do that right now. Um. I'm not sure actually which blocks will be uh, seen. I'm just gonna sort of replace them all now because I know I got to do some redstone work. No, 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 no. And uh, I'm sure you know this will come into play then. Okay. That's good for now. I'll keep these bricks on me and put this cobblestone away. I do have furnaces down here. I was going to say, man, I wish I had furnaces down here to cook this meat. That was raw pork. Oop. Put some coal in there and we're good to go. Smooth stone, stone bricks, cobblestone here. I'm trying to keep things organized while we build. Not always the easiest thing. Okay, so we need uh, a couple of stairs. I don't have smooth stone stairs, so... Smooth stone brick stairs, I should say, rather. For which uh, the pistons will pull back and forth. I keep falling in these hoppers, and it's just... It's so glitchy. Um, so let's see. How, how did we get those other ones? Go through the middle... I think it's uh, here on this block, right there. No, no, that's too far. It'd be one out more right here. Those two. And that should hold it. And then we have our pistons pull these back and forth to, uh, to keep the cars from going back and up and down and stuff. And um, from there, we need to, referring to my screenshots again we need to make our comparators which means I need smooth stone oh see it looks like uh, nether quartz hasn't been made yet either in this texture pack even still um, I still think it's a it's a pretty good texture pack those are redstone torches put those actually I think you need three like that Quartz and smooth stone. Okay, so we don't have comparators in here. I think I only need two. No, I'll need three for the mechanism down below. And I think that's it. Um, let's grab a couple of 
repeaters. I don't know, what's, what's a repeater look like? I thought it was just this. Am I wrong? Is it this? No, maybe it needs redstone. There it is. Need a redstone in the middle. Okay. So our comparators are linked up to the detector rails here to, uh, to let us know when there's something inside the carts which uh, activates these and uh, deactivates pistons. Which uh, I'm pretty sure I have pistons ready. Two sticky pistons. Beautiful. Um, I think that, yeah, they stay on the extended position. So they'll have to go there and here. So, because um, they'll be on and then they get turned off, which pulls them back. And uh, they'll take the stairs with them. Okay. I, I don't know if there needs to be, or if these stairs need to be faced in a, a particular direction, but I'm just going to go with that. Smooth stone. Okay, put those down. And um, we need to put our one comparator here faced into a block which has okay no I already got some redstone torch here which activates it and then uh, up top here all right Dwight how are you gonna do this let's just uh, we'll take the back route <clears throat> just to save ourselves uh, some time We'll have a, uh, a repeater here. And uh, what's uh, what's on the other side of this? We got a chest. Okay, that's not gonna work out too well. And this would be the wall. Okay, see, we need levers to stop the um, the piston or to uh, to lock it, basically. Well, I guess we don't really need to lock it, do we? No, we don't need to lock it. But we do need stone bricks and smooth stone. So stone bricks there, smooth stone. And smooth stone there. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to do that part because uh, it'll be automated this way regardless. And uh, that's fine with me. So, uh, okay, that's, uh, that's all set on that side. Let's do it over here. block there that's what it was nope 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 there we go comparator and a redstone torch beautiful okay so that's all good to go that that'll be the uh, the automated system so when um, our carts are here and they detect that they have inventory in them it'll activate this which lets the cart go and it'll go back and forth and uh, do its thing uh, I don't think that the end needed to be anything. It just needed to be a wall. Uh, we'll find out soon enough, right? Okay. So what is step two? Look through my screenshots here. We need to get underneath the furnaces. So let's uh, let's actually we'll just take out a little section here, so we can actually work around in this area. I am going to have to go back up for more hoppers. Because this whole bottom row right here, all hoppers. Uh, which leads to underneath the chest. Right there. Beautiful. I like it when things kind of work out. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. When, uh, when in reality, I, I really don't. I pretend that I know what I'm doing. Ooh, we need more iron. I know I just got rid of this block, but you know, it's just all all part of the. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Let's try that one more time. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe we need the chest in the center here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, five more. Ah, uh, that's that'll bring that'll give us to. 
not not enough. We need eight, yeah. And the way this is gonna work is that it goes. Did I take any screenshots of of how that works? No, of course not. That would make too much sense, Dwight. Uh, all I know is that all these hoppers need to go that way. So if we got six, we can go up to this one here. So if I put a brick there. And you see how they're all facing this way because they're going to take the what's inside of there and bring them out over here. And eventually to the, uh, the system that brings them up automatically. But we need more iron. And our iron is up top. Mm, we need more chests too. It's a good thing too because uh, I have a pretty stupid idea of uh, how to burn through all that iron. And uh, this was the smart idea, but I'm going through a good amount of it. It's going to be wonderful though. You guys are going to enjoy it very much so. Dun, dun, dun. There's our iron. Okay, so we could get 12 hoppers out of a stack of iron. We should uh, probably keep that memoed somewhere. And um, we need some droppers. One, two, three. We'll make five, just in case. I always use droppers anyway, so it's fine. We can have extras. It's cool. I'm a little surprised that, I, oh, that I've been able to do this much without... Uh, Taking a break. <laughs> okay, I need a break. No, uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll, go, we'll just go back down this way. Which I guess it should, should have been the original way that I went down. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to have dropper systems there. Do I have any chests left? No, I made them all into... And I used all my wood too. Darn it, I just got rid of these blocks again. Ah, how about we just do this? We need uh, two chests. I said two. All right, actually this is gonna bother me more than it should. There we go. Wait, oh, crafting table, okay. All right, so we need to stone bricks. Stone brick those back up. We'll put some there too. And um, we need to put our two chests here. But first, how about we, uh, the dropper is gonna go straight into here. Let's put in our droppers. Only needed two. I can't take out that block. No. Well, I guess if I made it trap chests, I could bring it up, but I don't want the chest to activate these rails against there. Which means I could change these chests into a trap chest. Decisions, decisions. Maybe, mm, yeah, I'll just keep it there because then I could just keep, I could walk up straight up to it like this, you know? And uh, that'll be fine. So we're going to put in two blocks there like that and then top it off with another chest. Bam! Just like that. And that'll be our output chest. And uh, now I need to get back down there. Perfect. Take our hoppers and do one of these. And now we need an automated system to bring these guys up. Which hopefully we have enough room here. I've made a couple of these so far, so I'm going to try to wing this from uh, the top of my head. Basically, not nether quartz, what we need is a redstone comparator that lets uh, a redstone know that this thing has inventory. So we put that there. And uh, do I have? There it is. Smooth stone like that. And then two repeaters. One output like this, and one like that, that goes right into it. But now that I'm thinking about it, 
Is this redstone right here going to affect this guy there? My gut says no, but I've always done it like this. I've always gone out and went to the left. I would assume that this works just as well if it goes out to the right like that. So let's just do that just for safety reasons. No, I think that one's supposed to be on tick two though. If not, you know, whatever. Redstone wizards, well, they'll, they'll, they'll correct me. Um, but there we go. That's gonna give us our tick. Uh, our clock rather that goes over here uh, and so from there I usually just power the um, the guys like this and I think that should be good for two yeah I mean there's a, there's one way to find out let's uh, let's throw some some iron in here Okay, so see our tick is or our thing is doing good. So we have none in there. We have one. And oh come on. Of course I mean eh. Okay, well there's one in here, so I can oh there we go. Yeah, there we go. The rest of the iron is in there. Perfect. Um I kinda do wish that this guy wouldn't leave him behind, but that seems to always happen. Because we can't put a comparator on there too. So that's great. That works that works fantastically. And it, it worked the first time. So uh, I'm very happy about that. Let's uh, let's just cover this up. Uh, so I'm not going to put a torch there. That's fine. We're not going to block anything. I just don't want any too high areas for mobs to spawn in. So there we go. I'll put a torch back here. But this area should be fine. Let's just give it another double check. And our iron is in there. Nice. Beautiful. Works fantastic. This is much easier than I previously uh, expected it to be. So I think that's it, guys. That's actually, that's it. How long has this episode been going? I don't know. For a while. But we need a maintenance hatch. Let's just say that something breaks at one point or another and uh, we need to come down here to check out what's going down in Chinatown and uh, well we made a hole here earlier at oh thank god <laughs> uh, it's not a terrible place to have a door it's not the best it's not the worst uh, but we could put a door right here and uh, just have it go in. I can't go any further back this way, otherwise I hit our ladder system. Our wonderful, custom-made, mahogany-made uh, ladders. And this is definitely not mahogany. This is some oak bullshit. Not even oak. I'd be, I'd be ecstatic if this was oak. This is, this is just crap. Whatever this is is crap. It's birch wood. Birch wood looks nice, but it's crap wood, in my mind, because I had a birch tree out in front of my house for a while. Uh, for actually not so much a while, but rather years and years. And then one little measly windstorm comes by and it's like, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, break and fall on top of your car and cost you freaking $200 in a, a new hood. Anyways, that's, uh, that's my story about real life birch trees. Interesting, isn't it? When life throws a tree at you, you buy a new hood. That's basically what my, the moral of the story is. Okay, now we just got to go in there and pretty this place up so we're not looking at a piece of crap the whole time. And uh, for that, let's build another stairway back up. There we go. That's beautiful. I've never seen such a gorgeous staircase in my life. All right. And uh, we... That'll be fine. gonna need more stone Ooh, but it's gonna see this that's fine we'll make it stone we'll make it nice and fancy and then uh, where's our torches boop power those puppies back up and that shouldn't power the hopper it should only power the thing that's down below and then to the right of it I guess we could test it by putting Okay, you know, now it took it immediately. It also put it on the top. 
which means it's going to smelt it. <laughs> Don't want that. And uh, let's go back to our stone bricks. Lovely stone bricks that we totally haven't built everything out of. And we only need one layer here, which is nice. Uh, at least I think. Let's go. Let's go take a look. Let's go back, take a look, take a gander, a little peek. Oh yeah, no, that's looking beautiful. You can't even see the torch back there. You'll see it when these things open, but only for a split second. And uh, to really top this off, how about we give it a nice stone brick outline? Oh, that's fantastic. It's looking great. Uh, all it needs now is a couple of chess carts. Uh, do I have spare? I have one spare minecart. Do I have any spare iron on me? I sure do. There we go. And you know what we need next? A couple of chests. Whoop. Is it? It's chest. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Whoop. Let me just double check before I, you know commit to these. Yeah, I believe they're chess cards. This uh, this one screenshot looks like a chess card. There we go. We got two. Beautiful. So we'll put one here. I can't just put it there. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Come on. All right, we got to go into the machine. Can't get it from there. Actually, let's uh, let's throw a torch down here too. And uh, just for OCD sake, one right there too. I don't I don't want this place uh, having mobs inside of it trying to hang out, you know. Okay, so we got, there we go. Oh, that's working great. Oh, look how gross that looks when the cart's on top of it. It's texture pack, like I said, it's uh, it's in the works, but I think they're doing great things with it. I honestly do really like it. Should we, we should put probably put a door there. I got a whole chest of doors. Is, is that good? Is that is that a good door? Right there? Is that is that gonna bother any of you? It's probably gonna bother me. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. It's uh, it's off in the way, not not in the way, out of the way. It's out of the. It's it's the complete opposite of being in the way. As a matter of fact, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's that's fine. It needs a it needs a background here, so I'm not looking at something that's gross. Give it a nice floor here too. Oh, and I got two left. Stone. Make this whole staircase nice. There we go. Oh man, I got dirt up here. I know I can't see it from the doorway, but you know what? Should have just given myself that whole stack so I wouldn't, uh, you know, keep going back and forth. All right, there we go. That's not gonna bother me as much now. That's good. That's good. I like it. Put our torches back up there. Make it uh, nice and bright in here. You really get used to the shaders too after an episode. Um, which sucks because I know I'm going to go back to regular old Minecraft and I'll be like, oh man, it looks so gross. Uh, we do not have enough to make item frames, but that's fine. I know which one's which. So what I'm going to do is in this one right here, this is our coal one. Load it full of coal. Bam, it'll take it and it'll keep going back and forth. <gasps> okay, nope, that's that shouldn't happen. Do we need, uh, I'm looking at the screenshot actually right now. What do we need? I think maybe half slabs on top of this. I'm thinking half slabs, maybe we should put half slabs. Oh, but then it's gonna bring up the height more. We'll give it a couple of regular old stone slabs. back down there please oh come on <laughs> don't do this to me right now just uh just go in there oh if i had another minecart i could push it oh you know what i could break this up here get up there bam okay okay there we go okay so we got a little area there but uh we could fix that by doing one of these It still seems kind of small. What's uh maybe uh 
stone brick slabs, and my neighbor has his freaking uh, leaf blower or something going, so excuse, uh, excuse that. I'll take those two, put it like that. Stone bricks, bam, and bam. That's better. That looks much better. Uh, this does not look much better. Uh, in fact, I would rather that just, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay, wait, maybe, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. But now, see, I'm, I'm not eye level anymore. I, I feel like I have to be one up now, which would mean that I would need to put in, like, uh, perhaps another half slab, like, uh, like right there. But see, then I can't access the chest. But if I, well, I don't know, maybe like that? Yeah? And then we can still access the chest from down there. Uh, anyway, so I have anything to test this with. You know, I do need to smelt more smooth stone. And now I, I can get out of the four here and go to something much more automated. So I just got to access that. And then I put in all my cobblestone. And it'll do all that for me. So let's go down there. Double check, uh, see, they're all burning away. Now I have 19 pieces of, uh, at least 19. Not bad, and they are cooking cobblestone. Whoop, excuse me. Well, now that last one's not gonna get as many. <laughs> so you can see it just keeps going back and forth, dropping the items into the hopper until it's all filled up. Or, or that's empty. Once this is empty, it'll stop. Still has a lot to go. But it does drop off a good amount. And when it's done, it transfers, uh, see, it pulls it out immediately. So once this is done, and see, you don't even see it. It just goes through. And then this thing keeps clicking through. And we should have a bunch of smooth stone ready to roll. Look at that, 39 pieces already, 40 beautiful it's great it's fantastic it's very useful highly recommend um I, I can't put torches here anymore i can bring them up there if i wanted to though and looks like we're done on that we don't have locks that's fine though it's great but uh remember to come back for what's uh what's gonna go either here or here i've yet to decide on which side it's gonna be on um i think we'll we'll be good over here Anyways, uh, my name is Potato. Thanks for watching my hardcore. If you guys like this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We did have a crash. That is unfortunate. Uh, but you know what? It looks beautiful. We got a bunch of shaders. In fact, let's just uh, we'll just go to sleep real quick. And you guys can get one last look at the lovely uh, daytime the beautifulness of this texture pack. Of how bright and vibrant it is. The, the waving trees. We got a squid somewhere. Where are you at, squid? He's probably in this corner. Yep, there he is right there. He's just slapping around, being being a squid, doing what squids do. I'm going to go and murder my neighbor because his, uh, his, his leaf blower, weed whacker, whatever it is, is super loud. And uh, I'm loving the sword already. This is fantastic. Look at that. They're just they're getting torn up. Ah, oh, I've missed sharpness. That's so nice. I got to get, um, get my leather production up. Anyways, I got to go. I'll see you guys for the next episode for something uh, for something stupid, but it'll be fun.